Hey and welcome to another video by Geek Together. Today I will be showing you how to install a valid SSL certificate and setting up your OpenVPN access server so that you can access it externally using a valid domain name with a valid SSL certificate. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the IP address of your OpenVPN access server followed by the port 943 slash admin and you want to log in as your admin user. So once you're logged in, you want to head over to configuration and web server. And on this page, you want to head all the way to the bottom and select the option to use user provided certificate. You're going to have to provide the CA bundle, which is a certificate authority um, bundle certificate. And you're going to have to provide the certificate itself and the private key. So in my case, I obtained the SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt, you can do so as well. If you don't know how to do this, you can watch my other videos on how to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt. So now that you have your certificates downloaded, we're going to go first and start by choosing our CA bundle certificate. So once we select that, we're going to go ahead and select our VPN certificate and then we'll select our VPN private key. So once that's all complete, you're going to save settings. And then you will update the running server. And then you're going to refresh the page. And it's going to want you to log in again. If we head back over to configuration, web server, you can see that our certificate was installed. Now we can go ahead and set up our host name to match the host name in the certificate so we do not have these errors anymore. So in order for us to do that, we're going to head over back to the network settings and you want to replace the IP address with your DNS A record or the host name of your VPN access server. So in this case, I'm just going to type in vpn.geektogether.com, which is going to be our host name. And I have this added to my DNS management server, which is I, in this case, I use um, Cloudflare. If you use GoDaddy or some other DNS management console, just make sure you have the A record specified in here. So once that's done, the other thing we can change here is the admin port. As of right now, we're accessing our admin portal using the 943. We can also change that so we can access that using port 443 as well. So once you have that setting changed, you want to save that. You're going to update the running server. So if you notice you lose connection, nothing to be worried about. At this point, all you need to do is remove the 943. And if you refresh the page, we can now access our OpenVPN access server again. So now we're going to try accessing OpenVPN using our host name. As you can see, we are successfully able to access our web portal using a valid SSL certificate and a host name. So this brings us to the end of this video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel.